All right, here we go. It is Sunday. Sunday, fun day. And of course, I am headed to work. All right. Y'all ready? Here we go. Ride with me. <laughs> Mentor up there, Victor B. That's where he rests. That's one of his perches. Let's go get this money. Let's go down here and get this bread, y'all. On Al Core Highway. I have resorted back to the full face helmet. Excuse me. At least right now. With this windshield being so low, I think I was getting a little bit too much uh, wind noise. I got to think mindful that um, if I'm going to be doing this vlogging and YouTube thing, you know, you got to, you want to put you some good audio. Like, that drives me crazy to, to watch a video when there's a whole lot of wind and blah, 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 you know, going on and stuff like that. So. I'll wear this full face helmet as much as I possibly can. I think the audio is a lot better. This will be a test run because even though I'm on the, when I'm on the gold wing, my full gold wing, the windshield is definitely much higher. I got a lot more wind protection with the uh, V stream uh, windshield. But if I'm gonna be doing some vlogging on this thing, I want to make sure. I got the proper wind protection and not put a bunch of that daggum whoop, 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 that wind noise in your earlobes. I'm just trying to give you guys what I like because I can't stand it. I can't stand to hear a bunch of damn wind noise, especially going down the interstate. You know, if I'm on the back roads, I slip my damn three quarter helmet on my half shell because I'm not getting no 80 mile an hour winds blowing on the microphone. That's a lot to ask out of a noise counseling mic if you're going down the interstate with a low windshield and you're trying to vlog. That, to me, that's a lot you need to, uh, you're trying to ask out of a headset. Hey, why are your videos noisy? Well, daggone look at it. You got an open face helmet, you got a low windshield, running down the interstate at 80 mile an hour. But most of the time when I'm vlogging, I don't too much care for no interstate, you know, vlogging because there's not much to see. When I when I get to run in my mouth, I like to kind of put a damn, uh, I like to give you something to look at. And this alcohol highway, this ain't much to look at. But if you don't watch yourself, it can be very exciting. If you notice, I am in the left lane. This is one of those split highways that people are jumping on and jumping off. And I don't want to be in the right lane when somebody's trying to jump on and then bow up. Then I got somebody on the left and I can't make a quick decision. That don't mean somebody can't bow up trying to make a left-hand turn. 
on this road and uh, then I have to bow up and make sure nobody runs in the back of me. But this is why they call Al Core Highway, I'll Kill Your Highway, because I don't know about a lot of deaths, but they damn sure be having some daggone fender benders on this bad boy. Probably not as much as they used to, but they definitely, uh, you got to be paying attention. Now, I know some of you guys like BG winging it and y'all living in big old cities. You know, this ain't nothing <laughs> compared to what y'all deal with. Because I couldn't imagine trying to ride and commute back and forth to work in New York and uh, places like that. Yeah, old Blue, Bobby Anderson Blue, he about like you, BG. He got a big body go wing though, but, uh, you know, he uh, moves around up in New York on two different kind of motorcycles. I think he got an FJ. If, if I ain't mistaken, that blue uh, FJ, Yamaha FJ that he commutes. And then he got a big body uh, gold wing. But uh, anyway, yeah, this old country living, I'll clear your highway. I'm about to jump on this Pellissippi 140 westbound going to the workplace and that'll be that away. This would be one of them hook em slappy moments. Uh, hook em slappy. Oh snap, well, I got over pretty good. I felt my foot on the ground. That's what this uh I am still riding the motorcycle tires and I ain't mad about it. Guy asked me, are you gonna dark side your F6B? I'm pretty sure I will, but I'm gonna enjoy this daggum uh, motorcycle tires and get the feel of it. That, that, that dark side does not slow me down. Everybody's got their little reasons why they won't, and their reasons are some good, valid reasons. I've been doing it so long, it's second nature to me. I've never done it on my L6B, but I've got a uh, spare rim that is dark sided as we speak. I got spare rims and everything, but I got a spare rim and I probably will slap it on there and ride it for a few hundred miles and, and really get the feel for it before I buy another dark side tire, but I'm pretty sure it ain't going to bother me. It's about like anything else. Once you adapt to it, you adapt to it, and you just rock it out, ride it out. It doesn't bother you. And with this F6B being a little bit lower to the ground, and uh, I guess it's lost some weight, you know, a little bit lighter than the Gold Wing. I know I've added some stuff to mine, so whatever the stock weight is on my Gold Wing, I probably added 100, 150 pounds to it, so. If it weighs a thousand pounds, I've added another 200 pounds, let's just say. If not more than that, I, I'm just talking about the stuff I got in it because most of the time I carry uh, two gallons of gas in my gold wing. I got a gallon on each bag. Uh, the gas can that I got, I got it off wing stuff. And what it is, is it's a uh, spill proof vapor proof odor proof uh, so they say gas can and it's in a little wedge it's, it's got that little funny wedge that the second gen and the s6b gold wings have so i just stick it in there and slide it all the way to the back and that's where it sits you sit it and forget it especially on a road trip i actually need to <laughs> pull that daggum gas out of there and pour it into my lawnmowers because it's been in there for a little while. I don't want that gas to start separating on me, but I, I usually pump it up with 100% gas, so that's got a last chance of separating than some of that uh, 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 ethanol cut, that 10% ethanol gas. But here it is, I'm running 7580, running my mouth, so don't know what the wind noise is like on you. But we gonna come back when they something to see. Boom! I'm headed to work. That away.
recording. There go, a rider going to ride around. He just enjoying the breeze, y'all. Hey, stay tuned for more videos like this. Thanks for watching. I'm